the hurricane's coming. Do you know your evacuation route or an alternate route to your evacuation route? Stay tuned. We're going to cover navigation coming up next. So Mr. Weatherman has predicted that the hurricane is headed your direction and now you have to evacuate because um, say it's a category four or category five and you do not want to stay in your home uh, during one of those typical uh, storms. They're just way too strong and they have way too much devastation. So you have to follow your local evacuation routes. If you live in a hurricane prone area, you all have seen these beautiful little blue and white signs that say evacuation route. I'll put a picture of one of those over here. So the problem being is, is everybody else that lives in your area, and if you live in a highly populated area, um, they are more likely gonna be following the same route. Um, because in a, an emergency situation, people are like horses with blinders on them and they just kind of follow the normal path. So what you want to do beforehand is, is you want to sit down and you want to map out some different ways to get from point A to point B, wherever your safe haven is going to be. Um, you want to have that plan well in advance and I would suggest um, you can use GPS or anything like that. Um, get yourself uh, either a journal, uh, one of these uh, right in the rain pads, because if they get wet or anything, you don't have to worry about it. And with the pen, you can even write on this in the rain. Or just your standard Walmart little notebook for 98 cents. Anything so that you can take and write out your directions of how you're going to get to where you need to be. Now the best thing to do for most people nowadays, because most people probably don't even know what this is, okay? Because everybody uses your cell phones, your laptops um, for navigation. Now, <clears throat> before the storm hits, yes, okay, you're gonna have service and everything else. After the storm hits, and then if you have to leave because your house got damaged or whatever else, uh, more than likely the cell towers and stuff will be down which renders these and this laptop useless. So you need to make sure that you have a map. Even if it's a map of your own state, um, this is a road atlas for the whole country. Uh, you can get them on uh, Amazon. Um, they sell them in different uh, versions, different styles. Uh, I got the large scale just because it's so much easier to read than trying to get out a magnifying glass or something because the print is really small. So if you're gonna buy one, I'd get the large scale, spend the money. Probably gonna cost you about 20 bucks. But anyways, you wanna make sure that you sit down and you, so you have, you'll do your evacuation route, all right? So you'll plug in all that information, exactly how your evacuation route will run. Now, most areas in your, uh, your local city, state, or county um, will have a emergency management uh, website you can go on there and they will show you you can find the evacuation routes for your area and it will show you exactly how they want you to go and which direction to go um, so once you do that and you write it down in your book or your journal or whatever so that you know then you want to have a secondary plan now me personally I'm gonna try to stay off the main evacuation route for one there's gonna be a lot of cars trying to get out of the area um, for two, you know, you are limited. So if you are traveling down through there and you have to get off to get gas, there's a pretty good chance uh, when you get off, you may not be able to get gas or you may have to wait hours in line to get gas. And at that point, if you are evacuating, hours can mean the difference between life and death. So you want to have an alternate route that is on more non-traveled roads. So you may have to take, you know, some of the not your major highways, but you know, your, your slow, kind of like your back roads and stuff like that. And, you know, 
if you're traveling through little towns and stuff, you need gas, you need something to eat, whatever, you can stop and pick that up and then keep on moving. Um, because like I said, the majority of the public, when there is an evacuation issue, they are going to follow the evacuation route. Now also remember, while you're sitting there and you're drawing out your plans on your routes, it's a good time to use your cell phone or your laptop and research your route that you're going to be traveling and look for gas stations, look for food stores, look for hotels, motels, uh, places that you can stay, camping grounds, whatever it is, do all that research first and note it into your journal or your notepad. This way here you have a really good idea of while you're traveling where things are. So you want to be the, the, uh, uh, the 1% that doesn't. Um, trust me, it'll save you valuable time. You'll be able to pick up resources along the way a lot easier and um, keep moving from your point A to point B point where is your safe haven away from the storm. Now, once you do that and you have your, your roots and stuff all put together and everything else, you want to make sure that you give a copy of that and you could take and use your cell phone at that point and take a picture of it and send it to either the person where you're heading to, family member, whatever, that, that's your point B, or just to family members in general if you're headed to a hotel or something else that is way out of the way of the storm. This way here, they know which way you are traveling and make sure that they know, okay, I'm not gonna be taking route A, I'm gonna be taking route B. So if something happens and they do not hear from you, they can alert the law enforcement that, hey, they were taking this route, these roads, and we haven't heard anything from them, and hopefully, maybe, um, if worst case scenario, you broke down or something, uh, somebody could be on the lookout for you. At least they'd have an idea of where to look instead of no idea at all. Communication is a big thing. Um, I would also suggest, um, now this is just a suggestion, um, a lot of people, you know, you may know your way around and everything else, but I would pick up a compass. Now you don't have to spend a hundred bucks on a compass, you know. I picked this one up, it's metal. It has all the, the dials, it has a leveler, it has the, the it has everything on it, and I picked it up for under $20 on Amazon. And it is metal, um, it does come with a nice little case that you could put right in your glove box or whatever else. Um, this way here, you at least still know, okay, because um, you could get turned around, especially if you're driving through mountains and woods and everything else, you can get turned around and not shouldn't be sure exactly where you are. So if you know you need to go north, if you have a compass, um, you, you can be headed on the right direction. Um, because once again, you know, uh, these are going to work as long as the cell service works. Um, with the same with your laptop. But if something happens and you leave after the storm, um, you don't have cell service. And your laptops aren't going to work because you don't have Wi-Fi or cell service. And you're going to be stuck in a pickle, if you want to put it that way. So. To recap, you want to make sure that you have a map. Get yourself a good map. You know, if you want to just get um, a map of your state, you can pick those up uh, anywhere. A lot of gas stations and stuff sell them and everything else. It'll cost you three, four or five bucks. You know, um, if you need to get a bigger map, you want a bigger map. If you live in an area where you could go several different directions into several different states, um, I would suggest just spending the money and just buy the large scale road atlas from you know, um, you want to make sure that you have a journal of some kind, um, a writing pad, um, make your notes and stuff on there, and uh, make sure that people know your travel route. Um, these type of uh, items here, your notebooks and your journals or whatever else can also come in handy with what supplies you're going to need to take um, with you. But that will be coming to a video soon. So that covers navigation and um, this is hurricane season 2020 episode 10 and I'd like to thank everybody for uh, liking my videos, for subscribing to my videos and for everything that you do for my channel and hope everybody out there stays safe. Get prepared for the hurricane season. 
because it is approaching very quickly. Do not wait. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.